Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way through the Cathedral of the Deep. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did quite a few things. Number one, I farmed up a ton of souls so that we could level up today. I also went ahead and put on the torch that's gonna be useful at the beginning of the episode. I went ahead and put on a rusted coin, some undead hunter charms, and some fire bombs. And that is all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to level up. Welcome home, sweet. Very well then taken. We're going to put two into vigor, two into endurance, two into vitality, strength, and dex. So ten levels in all is what I put in. Farewell, maiden. Let's go ahead and talk talk to the handmaid. Ah. We're gonna give her some umbral ash. Gracious, passing finer. Let Iona. <laughs> Ashen one. Oh. Talk to Andre the blacksmith real fast. That is good. We're going to reinforce our Estes flask. And give him the Farron Cole we picked up in the last episode. Oh, you a fucking that priest, huh? <laughs> Pretty, <but laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Cornix one more time. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> he gives us the welcome gesture. Do not be gone for long. What is <laughs> And then we'll talk to Orbeck. Oh, you're back then. Again. I'm Orbeck of Vinheim, here to teach you sorceries. Let us begin with the basics. The ideal sorcerer bears the twin faces of the dragon. It... Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. So Orbeck is our main sorcery guy. He's going to teach us the majority of our sorceries. Some we're going to pick up in the world. Some you can get through transposing um, stuff in the kiln. But overall, Orbeck is the one you're going to get your sorceries from. And you want to buy all of his sorceries because it will continue his quest line. Now, I'm not going to buy all of his sorceries on screen. I'm going to do that off screen every time that we get a... Uh, new sorcery scroll so just keep that in mind but I will be buying them all as we go through the game all right now that has been said let's go ahead and leave him be come again we're gonna come up here to Ludlith and we're actually gonna pick something up from him ah so so there's two things you can get from Ludlith whenever you turn in the soul of a crystal sage. Number one is crystal hail. So if you're trying to get all the sorceries in the game, you're going to want to pick this one up either now or on a new game plus. And he also has the crystal sages rapier. Now this I want because what it'll do is boost our item discovery by quite a bit. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now, and then we're going to hop off here and we are going to head over to the Cathedral of the Deep. I'll see everybody at the Cleansing Chapel bonfire. Now that we're at the Cathedral of the Deep, we want to veer off to the left here, pick up the notched whip. Come out these doors. Take out this enemy to the right. 
And then we're going to take out these enemies. We're going to pick up an Estus Shard if you want to head back to Firelink Shrine and go boost your Estus Flasks one more time, you can. We're going to hop down here. We have some big maggot creatures. These things are extremely weak to fire. If they hit you, they're going to put maggots on you, and those maggots will cause bleed buildup. And they will keep causing bleed buildup for quite a long time, so you'll keep taking damage from bleed. And the only way to get rid of it is if you have a torch. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you have a torch down here. Right here, we're going to pick up the Saint Tree Belvine Chime. We'll put our torch away for now. Run up these stairs. We're off to the right. Grab ourselves a Titanite Shard. Grab that Crystal Lizard, get ourselves a Twinkling Titanite, and then over here, there's going to be another Crystal Lizard. Lead him over to the right, because we have a big Crystal Lizard to our left. Make sure that you don't get him to go to the left, or else you're going to be fighting a big Crystal Lizard while you're trying to grab the small little Crystal Lizard. We're going to come up here. We're going to loot this corpse for another Titanite Shard. Then we can roll off right here. And we can start fighting this large crystal lizard. For killing the large crystal lizard, we get a tight tight night scale. Have another one of these maggot creatures. Go ahead and hit him. Grab the poison bite ring that will boost our resistance to poison. Not really useful just yet, but it will be later on. I'm going to come over here, pick up another Titanite shard, and then we are back by the bonfire. So we did a big old circle. Now we're going to run past this obelisk where we picked up the Titanite Shard. Not Titanite Shard, I'm sorry. The um, Estus Shard. Be careful, these guys respawn. I wouldn't bother killing them. They're not worth a lot of souls. Just run right by them. We're going to come over here. Get the Astora's Greatsword. Really good sword if you're trying to put some elemental damage on a weapon. It scales really good with that. I'm going to hop down here. We're about to grab the Executioner's Greatsword. If you are a battle mage, this sword is almost mandatory. Because for every kill that you have, you're going to get FP back. Here's the Executioner's Greatsword. We're going to run straight over here. Go through this path. And leave those guys behind. Now we're going to have an undead creature mixed with one of those maggot creatures. Be sure not to let them hit you. If you do, you're going to get maggots on you. And that's no fun. We have a Grave Warden up here. They're not too hard as long as you can get the first hit. You can stagger them to death. We're going to come down here. Have a few more of these undead maggot guys. Take them out first before you start grabbing any of the items. Well, looks like uh, the giant's going to take care of that guy. Grab an undead bone shard. Some repair powder. Soul. Wasn't meaning for that backstab, but it works, I suppose. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Giant dude was like, I gotcha. Grab a young white branch.
come over here. We're going to get a Titanite Shard. So if you're trying to level up a second weapon, you should be able to by now. Grab the Cursed Ward Great Shield. Come down here, kick this ladder down. And this just leads back over by the three maggot creatures we killed earlier. It's just another way to get down. Let's go up this big stairwell here. We're going to veer off to the left. Grab two rusted coins. And then over here, we're going to pick up some red bug pellets. And then just across the way in that archway is going to be an archer. Want to wait for him to shoot his crossbow. And then just wait right here. He's going to walk right off. So that way we can kill him instead of having to deal with him shooting arrows at us. I mean, we're still going to have to deal with him shooting arrows at us, but... Take care of that ambush. And then right behind here, we have another guy that will ambush us if we don't take care of him. Run up here. Take care of that guy before he sets himself on fire. Kill this guy, and then we have two guys hanging off the ledge here. Go ahead and kill them. And then what I like to do is aim at these guys' heads. Kill them outright. Just makes things easier. Uh, I was like, man, didn't kill that guy? Be very careful, we're going to have three crossbow guys. Luckily, they're staggered. They're not always staggered when shooting their crossbow bolts at you. But every now and then you can get lucky. Grab some heavy bolts. And then we want to get the attention of this guy. Get a backstab on him. Pull out our bow again. Oh my goodness, my sword. It's one bad thing about fighting in cramped spaces. Your sword will bounce off the wall, I promise. Grab some red bug pellets. And then we are going to shoot these guys in the head. It should kill them outright as long as you've been upgrading your bow. Let's get her in the head. Get a backstab. Charged R2, and the Evangelist is dead. Pick up three undead hunter charms. And we're going to run this way. And then instead of taking that path down, what we're going to do is we're going to jump across. So run, jump, and if you roll, it's okay. You'll roll into those nails or spikes, whatever you want to call them. I think that they're nails, but I could be wrong. Who knows? There's usually a thrall right over here. I like to take care of him now. That way, whenever we get over there later, don't have to deal with them. 
Unless you rest at a bonfire, that is. If you rest at a bonfire, he's going to respawn. That's just how that works. Get a deep gem. That's awesome. That is a rare drop from them, is a deep gem. So if you get one, you're lucky. We'll be picking up a deep gem anyways here soon. So if you don't get one, that's not a big deal. Right here, be careful. Got an ambush. Of course. <laughs> I'm just having bad luck with the walls today. Alright, let's switch to our sword. If I'm going a little fast for everybody, I apologize. We just have a lot to do in this episode. Grab a soul. I'm gonna have to fight two Grave Wardens. First one is right here. Again. Stagger them to death. Heal ourselves up. And then we're going to run to the top. You don't have to run to the top. You can turn around as soon as these guys catch themselves on fire. But I like to just run up. Take care of them. Be a little scary. But I have faith in everybody. Take these guys out. Don't hit that guy. That guy has a shield. Shoot that guy. And then we'll do our best to take care of this guy. But he's going to hold his shield up. There we go. Took care of him. And then off to the right, what I like to do, there's a guy hanging off the ledge here. I like to take him out. Get him to come over here. Kill him. And then we have a big axe dude that will ambush us if we try to just run in and kill everything. This guy is going to ambush us. And that's usually a death if you're not careful. These guys hit pretty hard. Grab ourselves an ember. Then open up the double doors. And we have finally made it inside the Cathedral of the Deep. Right here are slug creatures or blob creatures. You can throw fire bombs at them. They're weak to fire. Right here, that statue, it will spew out poison, so be very careful. Grab the item and then back away. That item is a dual charm. So if you ever get invaded and an invader buffs their self, whether it's a weapon or their actual self, maybe they take a green blossom and uh, boost their stamina. You can throw this at them, just like you can with the Undead Hunter's Charms, and it will debuff them. Come in here, we're gonna take out three of these Deacons. They're not that hard. Don't be too scared of them. The most they can do is hit you with their candlestick or whatever it is, and uh, throw fireballs at you. They're pretty squishy. Over here to the left, we have an elevator. We're going to take this down. Open up this door. And then we're going to open up the double doors. And this is going to lead us back to the bonfire. So if we die over here, we have a quick shortcut back to where we died which is very possible we're going to be fighting a giant well not fighting the giant yet we're going to be dodging the giant here in a minute but before we do any of that what we're going to do is 
take down this blob. Hit it one time with our sword. And then come down here. And we want to be very sneaky. We have an evangelist that is guarding a deep gem. So if you didn't get a thrall to drop a deep gem earlier, you can get one right here. Then we do a charged R2. Take care of the evangelist. Grab ourselves a deep gem. And then we can backtrack. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run straight past this giant. This is a very dangerous encounter. Kill this guy. Pick up a soul. And then what we want to do is dodge his attacks. Grab the Lloyd's ring. Some exploding bolts. Just keep an eye on him and you should be all right. If you don't sit too close. And what he'll do is he will go back down and rest. We can take this guy out. And go back down. I want to take out the archer that jumped down there for a second. And we're going to take the path to the left. We're going to run right past all of this. And the thrall that's hanging up there. We're just going to hold our shield out. We have one more thrall to take out. Go back to our fire bombs. What I like to do is throw a fire bomb at that blob and then kill it. We get the spell seek guidance. So if you're playing offline and you can use sorceries, you can use the seek guidance to see some developer messages and get some tips on, you know, little secrets that you might have missed or not known about. We're going to climb up this ladder. Be very careful. There is an evangelist up here. It's up to you if you want to fight her or not. I'm going to fight her, but you don't have to. You can run right past her, grab the item that's over to the right. She didn't drop anything. So we get an ember that's just over here. Now we can slide down this ladder. And then right over here, we have a mimic. You can't really tell because the rug is covering up the chain, but it is a mimic. What we're going to do is we're going to put the mimic to sleep in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and put on our Crystal Sage's Rapier. That's going to boost our item discovery. So make sure that you equip it to hand your weapon to keep the item discovery on. If you don't have it equipped, obviously it's not going to have the item discovery. We're going to throw an undead hunter charm at it to put it to sleep. Go ahead and grab the deep Raelian divine tome. And then we're going to hit just once. We're going to hit the mimic. Now let's go ahead and use a rusted coin. Put it back to sleep. We're going to wait for the teeth to kind of 
go backwards in a way. I, I don't really know how to explain that. And then we're going to hit it. We did not get our symbol of avarice just yet. I'm going to put it to sleep again. Again, wait for the teeth to kind of go backwards. And we got a symbol of avarice. That's awesome. Now, if you don't get a symbol of avarice, that's okay. There's still plenty of time to get the symbol of avarice. There's a bunch of mimics in the game that you can keep doing this strategy for. Or if you have a friend that doesn't mind giving you a symbol of avarice that they may have, or they may have an extra one, you can always ask them to drop you one. Now we're going to be fighting a Cathedral Knight. I absolutely hate these guys. They are just a nuisance. That went better than I expected. You can always hold L2 and then hit R2 to penetrate their shield. Now we see an item over there. Do not run over there and get it. We actually have a spider creature that's going to drop down in just a moment. We can get a charge R2 on it. And then a critical. It's going to drop Aldrich's Sadfire. This is really unique as a ring goes if you are a spellcaster of any sort. Pyromancy, sorceries, anything. This is a really good ring to have because for any critical uh, hit you do, you get some FP back. So uh, parries, staggers, um, backstabs, all that stuff. You'll get FP back. And come out here. We're going to run over here. Kill this thrall really quick because we're going to get invaded by Kirk. Long finger Kirk. Want to fight him over here in the water just because there is another cathedral knight and some thralls patrolling over there. Ooh, Kirk. You better stop it. So for killing him, we get the Barbed Straight Sword and the Spiked Shield. The Barbed Straight Sword is a good early game bleed weapon. So if you're doing a bleed build, try to uh, use that if you want. We're going to run over here, grab ourselves a item. Sorry, I'm getting nervous. Make sure that they're pathing that way. That camera was probably messing everybody up. Like, what are you doing, Mr. Wayne? Cut it out. Just stay underneath the giant and you should be all right. It's either going to try to stomp on you or it's going to... Do like a little sweeping attack on the ground. That's all they do. They're actually really, really easy. I never struggle with these guys. Like I said, just stay underneath their feet and you'll be all right. Also, if you want to get through the sludge a little faster, you can always put on a dagger, two-hand it, and then hit L2. So we get a large tight knight for killing the giant. We'll go get that item in just a moment. First, we're going to open up these double doors and go down here. And then when we come back out, we'll go over there and grab that item.
We get the Saints Bident and two Homeward Bones. If you don't care about those items, you don't have to go down there. Come over here. Grab the Maiden Armor set. And then we're going to come over here to our left. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and pull this lever. We want to activate these, um, I don't know what to call them, I guess, uh, walkways? I, I don't know. I don't know what they really are. They, at least one of them does become a walkway, but I don't really know what to call them. Archways? Don't know. We're going to come over here, pull one more lever. Lift it up. Not sure if you have to do this, but I like to do this just to make sure that the NPC that we're trying to get um, spawns. Kill that thrall. If you want to kill the two thralls and the cathedral knight, feel free. I'm not going to. over here open up the double doors right here this is going to lead to an elevator that will be taken in just a little bit and then when we open these double doors this is going to lead back over to the bonfire so really big shortcut now we're going to turn around start making our way back towards where the second giant is Now, if you don't kill both of these giants, when you meet this NPC, he's going to have different dialogue as if you do kill the two giants, he's going to have some different dialogue as well. So depending on what you do with the giants is depending on what kind of dialogue you're going to get from the NPC we're going to be meeting here shortly. I always kill these giants, not just because of the dialogue but mainly because they're worth quite a bit of souls can I reach him okay so we're gonna have a bunch of these blob creatures and be fighting a giant at the same time so be careful these slug creatures Kind of a nuisance. They're not that bad. The giant can hurt them too as he's stomping around. So keep that in mind. I just take care of the giant first and then I start working on the slugs or the. Well, I don't think they're slugs, they're more uh, blobs. God, they're annoying. So we're going to pick up the Drang set and this Sludge. One of my favorite armor sets in the game besides when we get to the Ring City. The Ring City has got my favorite armor set in the game. Pick up another large Titanite Shard. And a Pale Tongue. Some Drang Hammers. Drang Hammers aren't too bad. You can stagger uh, quite a few enemies with the Drang Hammers. So before we go any further, I'm going to put on our new armor set. 
which is going to be the Drang set. Like I said, this is one of my favorite sets. Have to wear it because it just looks so freaking cool. We can put on the torch again. We don't need uh, the rapier anymore. And we can take off the fire bombs. So over here we have quite a few enemies. We're just going to ignore them. I'm going to come over here. Grab ourselves an ember. Just kind of stay over here towards the edge. You shouldn't have to worry about them. they do aggro towards you it's not a big deal right here make sure that you open up these doors if you don't the NPC that we're trying to get will not spawn so make sure that you open up these two double doors so there's the NPC that is not Sigward I promise. Doesn't even really sound like Sigurd. Pick up some dual charms. And then let's talk to this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral store of treasure. It's right over there. Across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. Always so close. Yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle. <laughs> Indeed. Hmm. Hmm. So as soon as we go to cross this bridge, we're going to get a cutscene. <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. Thought you could outwit an onion. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. <laughs> So like I said, depending on if you killed the giants or not is going to determine what he says. We're going to backtrack just a little bit here. We're going to go over to the elevator that I told you we would be taking shortly. Well, this is shortly. Let's go ahead and take it up. We're going to send it right back down just in case we die there is a very high probability that we will we have uh three cathedral knights to fight up top here not just yet but here shortly we will be so we're gonna kill this guy he's going to give us the deep ring if you put that ring on you will get a extra um Allocation slot? Yeah. Allocation slot. Or no, attunement slot, not allocation. I, I'm sorry. Attunement slot. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. Oh, awesome. He dropped the great axe. I don't think we need it. I think we already have one, but still cool. Now we don't have to worry about any thralls. We already took care of them. Right up top here, we have... Did I not take care of one of these 
thralls? I'm pretty sure I took care of all of them. Interesting. Anyhow, up top here, we have a thrall. Grab ourselves the Arbalus. Go all the way to the end. Kill this thrall. Grab ourselves a Pale Tongue. Usually there's a thrall that comes up over here, but we did kill him. I know that for a fact. We want to come right over here we have a thrall to the left unless that's the thrall that saw us i think that's the thrall that saw us so usually there's one pathing over here that we can kill i do not recommend anybody locking on to the thralls if you do there's a high chance that the camera is going to kill you that guy just offed himself even though i literally just locked on him i'm like hey i don't recommend you locking on to him and then what does Mr. Wayne do? Locks onto him. Be very careful. When that guy aggros to you, if you stand right about here, he'll try to hit you. Just move as he's trying to hit you, and he'll fall to his death. It's very tricky. Either you're going to win or you're going to lose, because if he hits you, you're getting yeeted right off of this scaffolding or beams. Or whatever they are. <laughs> rafters. I I'm going to go with rafters. So the easy way to take care of these cathedral knights is to get a headshot. So try to aim it up above their head. Just above their head. Ah, I didn't get him. It's okay. Okay. We can run through the rafters, and every now and then, they will fall to their death. Did he fall to his death? I think he did. Awesome possum. He did. And we got another Estus. Good stuff. Let's try this again. This guy is going to shoot some crossbow bolts at us. So be careful for that. There we go. So that's usually how I like to take care of them. Is just hit them in the head. And they'll fall right off. So we're going to hop down right here. And then we're going to hop down one more time. Heal ourselves up. Take this guy out. Now, if Patches isn't over here, you're going to have a bunch of these grub men hop down as well. So keep that in mind. By the way, spoiler alert, this is Patches. Huh? Y yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. You seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You want to tell him that you know who I am. Oh, oh, yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But, but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. And look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> He's going to give us the gesture of prostration. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me, but, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. <laughs> you should know, 
I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. So you want to make sure that you have enough souls on you. If you don't, go back, get some souls or pop some souls if you have some. You want to buy the Katarina armor set because we're going to need to give it to Sigward so that his quest line will continue. And Patches has a ton of stuff that he sells. Number one, he's got uh, my favorite armor from Dark Souls 1, the black leather armor. And uh, some poison arrows. Thanks, good com. I don't know why that dialogue always skips. It's so weird. I don't press any buttons. It just always skips. Over here, we got some grubmen. Take this guy out first, or else he's going to be a nuisance while you're trying to kill these guys. These guys can puke on you and uh, put some of those maggots on you just like that. Speaking of which. So now I have maggots on me. You can see them. But if I pull my torch out, I no longer have the maggots on me. And that should be the last of them. This right here, this guy right here is not hostile. You can kill him. And for killing him, we get the red sign soapstone. That will allow you to put your red sign down if you want to PvP with a friend. We're going to rest at this bonfire for just a moment. And the reason why is because it will cause Longfinger Kirk's armor set to spawn. Right here is Rosaria. We're going to join her covenant. Now, quick disclaimer. If you're trying to do Cirrus's side quest, do not offer a pale tongue. Do not reallocate your attributes. Do not alter your appearance. If you do any of those three, you will break Cirrus's quest line. Now, as soon as Cirrus's quest line is done, you can come back here. You can offer pale tongues. You can reallocate attributes, all of that, if you want to. But if you do not want to break her quest line, do not do any of this. Okay, now that that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and go back to the bonfire. And we are going to fast travel over to the cleansing chapel. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to come out over here. We're going to come over to the well and we're going to talk to Sigurd. You want to go ahead and throw his armor down to him. Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I am Siegfried of Katarina, salute you. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. Until we meet again. Comrade. <laughs> we get the rejoice gesture from him. And we have continued his quest line. Now we're going to backtrack 
We're going to go fight the boss now. Be careful. Got a thrall. Take the thrall out real fast. Not even going to bother with any of those guys. Just come over here. And then we're going to come over to the left. And what we want to make sure is that these guys are coming towards us. <gasps> oh no, that was bad. That was really bad. We're going to hop down. Sneaky, sneaky guy. That's the worst case scenario there. We're going to go back up there. We're going to go back up there and hopefully that Cathedral Knight is not aggroed to us. So that sucks. Okay. He went back to his position. That's good. The reason why is because we want to get a backstab on him. Get that backstab. Charged R2. And then right here is another Cathedral Knight. We get a charged R2. And then kill him fairly easily. Get the Cathedral Knight Gauntlets. It's actually a pretty good armor set if you're trying to be beefy. Take these guys out. Just for funsies. There's two deacons over here. I can't believe that worked out. That that was very scary. And then over here, we're going to have Horus the Hush. And we're going to have Anri. So, or Anri. I think it's Anri, and I'm pronouncing it horribly, but whatever. We're going to summon in Anri as well. You don't have to summon any of these people in if you don't want to. I'm just trying to show everybody um, how Dark Souls can become a little easier with NPC summons. Even if you're not playing online. So right here, that red glow is what we want to go after. The person or the, the deacon that the red glow is in is the one that we want to kill. That's the only way that we're going to cause damage to the deacon. Or the deacons of the deep. I'm sorry. Plural, Mr. Wayne. But Henri or Anri and Horus kind of make this fight a little easier. Not that it's hard anyways, it's really not a hard fight, but they make it a little easier with taking aggro on some of the other enemies while you focus on where the red glow is. So we're in the second phase, now the red glow is not going to be moving around. Being staggered to death here. This is worst case scenario here. 
really get myself into some bad situations. There we go. There's the Deacons of the Deep. Pretty easy fight, unless you trap yourself in a corner like I did. <laughs> then it gets a little scary. So for killing them, you get the small doll and the soul of the Deacons of the Deep. What we're going to do is light this bonfire. And then we're going to sit at the bonfire. And then we're going to turn around and grab the Arch Deacon armor set. Now let's go rest at the bonfire again. And this time we are going to go over to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody over there. Real fast, we are going to rest at the bonfire, burn our undead bone shard. Now, every time that you burn an undead bone shard in the um, bonfire here at Firelink Shrine, the fire in the bonfire will get bigger. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and talk to Anri. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Anri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Let's go over here to Ludlith, or Ludlith. Aha, uh -huh. so. So for killing the Deacons of the Deep, you can either get the, uh, not the soul, <laughs> the Deep Soul Spell, or you can get the Cleric's Candlestick. Totally up to you. Um, again, if you're trying to get every sorcery in the game, go for the Deep Soul. And then if you want the Candlestick for some weird reason on your next playthrough, pick it up. Nah. Now let's go ahead and come over here to the handmaid. Uh -huh. We're going to purchase a couple things. Number one, we're going to purchase a prim prim the. We're going to purchase a prism stone. Words. And we're going to purchase a leather shield. Oh, you know what? We can also purchase one more thing, and that's the Lloyd's shield ring. Ashen one. <laughs> We're going to upgrade our Estus flask. Is, wasn't it? Go ahead and reinforce it. Pretty like that. Let's go ahead and talk to Gray Rat. <laughs> We're gonna purchase a divine blessing from him. One lightning urn, and that should be it. Goodbye, <laughs> Now we're going to go to the top. We're going to check the tree over here. We got the seed of a giant tree. That's awesome. We needed that. Let's go ahead and open up the tower. We're going to run all the way to the top. Hopefully it doesn't make everybody dizzy. And then right here, we're going to hop down. We're going to kick this ladder down just in case we need to get back up here. And then what we're going to do is drop a ton of items to these birds. So first things first, we're going to drop a Divine Blessing. Go ahead and hit leave. It's going to give us the very good carving. 
We're going to drop a Sig Brew. So go ahead and hit leave. That'll give us the Armor of the Sun. Then we want to drop a Black Firebomb. That'll give us a Titanite Chunk. We're going to leave a Lightning Urn. That'll give us the Iron Helm. Going to leave a Alluring Skull. That'll give us the Hello Carving. We're going to leave a Prism Stone. Give us some Twinkling Titanite. And then we are going to leave a Vertebrae Shackle. Everybody should have one from killing the um, inv Invader earlier on. That would give us Lucatil's Mask. And then we are going to leave the seed of a giant tree. Give us some iron leggings. So now you can be a true sun bro. We're going to leave a shriving stone. Get the I'm sorry carving. Go ahead and leave a uh, cleric sacred chime if you don't have a cleric sacred chime you can go to gray rat and buy a chime from him or you can also use the saint tree belvine chime as well it's just got to be a sacred chime get the help me carving for doing that and then lastly we are going to drop the large leather shield Get ourselves a Twinkling Titanite. And that's all we can drop for now. Let's go ahead and go back up this tower. Hate this tower. So hard to see when you're running up. This time we're going to run across. We're going to take an elevator up. But if you listen closely, you're going to hear the door shut. So somebody shut the door on us. We'll have to go back down and see who did that. But first, I want to pick up the Firekeeper Soul. Head back down this elevator. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is going to kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> so, patches being patches. Screwed us over. Now, there's three ways to get out of this situation. Number one, you can use a homeward bone. Send you right back to the shrine bonfire. Or you can kill yourself. And then that'll definitely send you back to the Shrine Bonfire. Or you can roll off and try to get this item. What I like to do is stand right here and roll straight off. I may or may not die. If I do, I'm just going to come back um, and cut the video until I make this roll. So I'll see everybody in a second just in case I die. Whew. That was super duper close. Ugh, finally, it took me a stupid amount of tries. Uh, I think it took me like five or six tries. So <laughs> this is like my sixth or seventh try. Uh, so making it to this um, item here is going to give us the Firekeeper set. So if you like the Firekeeper set, you can now get it. 
we come over here, we'll get ourselves an Estus ring. This ring is pretty cool. When you put it on, whenever you go to heal with Estus, you're going to get more health back. This is where we fought the sword master. So now we have explored all of Firelink Shrine. Oh, before we go down there and talk to the firekeeper, let's go talk to Patches. And be like, what the hell, man? You're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. Oh, come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Do not forgive him. If you don't forgive him, he's going to give you a gold coin. Oh, for heaven's sake. No need to jest with a face like that. You're still alive, and I'm here groveling in the dirt, so to speak. Oh, I know. Here, a token of my sincerity. Right and proper, huh? We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> ah, I see you've made Greyrat. The slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> So now you can purchase a bunch of different things from patches if you want. The number one thing I'm going to purchase from him is the horse hoof ring, which will boost your kick effect. Not really that good of a ring, but I'm just going to purchase it just for shits and giggles, I suppose. Thanks, good compere. Oh, now you'll finish your sentence. Okay. There in the Cathedral of the Deep, he didn't want to finish his sentence, just cut off. He's like, nah. Let's go ahead and talk to the Firekeeper. Welcome, speak. We're going to give her the Firekeeper's soul. Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Now you can heal the dark sigil if you want to. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Farewell, may the And then we are going to end the video right about here. And I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, Signing off.